Welcome back to Boiler Bites. In 1942, in the midst of World War II, several members of the Purdue Glee Club were drafted and left for service. So many that they could no longer keep their performance schedule. In response, Al Stewart, the director of Purdue Musical Organization at that time, started the Purdueettes, an all-female singing group. Throughout the years, the Purdueettes have been such a hit that 75 years later, they're still dazzling audiences worldwide. Being part of the Perduettes is something I will cherish for a lifetime. They represent our university um, on the highest level. I never believed I'd see a show like the Perduettes put on now. Perduettes has changed a lot in uh, 75 years. From the time I was here, which is hard for me to believe that was over 50 years ago, um, I, there's a lot of change. In those first years, the pressure was on to do all we could for the war effort. We sang at bond rallies, and almost all of them. We sang in high schools, we sang in men's service clubs, we sang in women's clubs, and we really pushed supporting the war. In 1942, when the Perduettes were founded, there were only 13 members in the group. Now I have over 61 sisters in song, and it's incredible to look at that growth and to see what the group and what PMO has accomplished since then. We perform regionally, nationally, and internationally um, with a variety of genres, anywhere from jazz and Broadway-type styles to gospel and more spiritual pieces. Um, we perform for President's Council events and other official Purdue events, but we also get hired out by community members and by people all around the state of Indiana and the Midwest just so that they can hear us sing and dance. It takes a lot of dedication to do the practice schedule, to do the travel schedule, uh, particularly when it's in the midst of classroom activities. It takes dedication as much as it does in some of the sports. Because we don't receive credit, the girls who are in this group are just so profoundly passionate about music and about this particular sisterhood. A lot of the girls who come into Perduettes, including me personally, we joined because we wanted to keep singing in college and music was such an important foundational part of our life prior to college life that, you know, we decided we have to continue it. But once you're immersed in the group and become truly a member, you realize that it's not just the music that's pushing you and motivating you to stay in the group, but it's the sisterhood, the community, and the positivity of the entire ensemble that really keeps you here. So we always do runouts um, where we go out and introduce ourselves to an audience member um, and sing a personal serenade to them. Um, we always have specialty groups. Um, one of the long-standing specialty groups in PMO is the Perduette Trio, um, which was formed in 1942, and we still have the trio today. I'm a member of the Perduette Trio. It's always my favorite part of the show where I get to tap down and sing our songs and we do mostly 30s and 40s music. But it's great because I get to share this musical heritage that has just been around for so many decades with audience members. And I just, the thought of performing it with some of my best friends is just really spectacular. Some of the biggest changes probably that I see are a focus on the young women improving leadership skills. So I am the gold of advancement and I'm so fortunate to be able to be the liaison between not only the staff and the group, but also between um, Perduettes as a group and alumni. It's a pleasure to um, teach other people on how to present themselves professionally and I've learned a lot just by leading in it. To see 75 years of 
gradually growing more and more professional and to entertain at such lavish get-togethers, it's, it's a real source of pride for, for me to realize I once was a part of that group. The Purduettes was truly um, a life-changing experience for me. Uh, the friendships gained, the leadership opportunities, um, the commitment to excellence, the tradition, um, and the travel opportunities that I was fortunate enough to have during my time in the Purduettes um, were truly life-changing experiences and, and things that I will carry with me um, forever. The Purduettes are poised to continue their energetic and professional entertainment for another 75 years. For more information on the Purduettes, you can visit the website below. That wraps up this edition of Boiler Bites. You can check out all of our stories online at BoilerBites.com. See you next time.